I um, was in college and um, had to declare my major and took a criminal justice class and just decided that I wanted to be involved in something with criminal justice. I didn't know what. Denise has a strong sense of right and wrong, and she speaks her mind and makes no apologies for it. It's definitely uh, important to her uh, to be the FTO, uh, to have that kind of uh, leadership role. I don't like to sit at a desk and push paper. I love to be, you know, out driving around and getting into stuff and, of course, you know, chasing people on foot because being athletic, that's, you know, that's always, always fun time. To get through some of the things that we deal with, um, you have to have a little bit of a warped sense of humor. I did chase a guy, um, and then when we once we caught him, when I came back, uh, a guy at the bus stop basically made a comment saying that I was fast. He was like, wow, she's really fast. <laughs> she was a seven-time Ironman competitor. 2.4-mile swim, 112-mile bike, and 26.2-mile run <laughs> or walk. It all depends. Um, impressive. You get 17 hours to complete Ironman, um, and if you if you uh, get below 12 hours, that's pretty good. She doesn't suffer fools uh, gladly. She, you're not one of her friends or one of her former OITs unless you rec have seen uh, her famous Denise eye roll. Oh, she's a big eye roller, that's for sure. I'll demonstrate. Ah, oh, jeez. Or, ugh. <laughs> you know you've messed up when uh, when she does the eye roll in the head, Bob. So, sorry, Denise. You need to know that. I've stayed in patrol just because I like, you know, I like being outside. Um, I'm active. It takes a special person to be there and do what patrol does. Um, for the fact that you see people kind of at their worst, but at the same time, that's where you can make the biggest impact, I think, because you are able to actually help them right on the spot. So on April 14th, I was responding to a call um, of essentially a domestic violence where uh, there was a suicidal um, subject. She answered up for the hot call along with another uh, 23 officer and we went our separate ways. So I was meeting the female half of the domestic violence um, at a gas station, which was a, about five blocks away from the house. As we were exiting the store um, is when uh, the suspect basically drove in and, and shot me. Oh my God, that's him. Oh my God, that's him. Right here on this one? Yeah, in this, no, in this Prius. Oh. Hey, Tama, he's right here. Come out of the car. Oh, when I fell to the ground, um, the other officer, um, Officer Toma, uh, immediately uh, saw what happened and he got into a gunfight with the suspect and essentially uh, Officer Toma saved my life. Who is here? Uh, at that point, I realized that it was just surviving. Just, I stayed calm, um, tried to keep my heart rate calm. That's when the 999 came out. And I just remember Jordan and I looking at each other, uh, just wide-eyed in disbelief. A lot of the officers were showing up and I could tell that they were, they were probably a bit more emotional than I was. I just remember seeing this pool of bright red blood by her uh, hip. And, uh, I, you know, you've seen Denise a million times, but you've never seen this situation. So it was, I hate to use the word, but surreal. The only thing that they would say is that she's going into surgery and she was possibly critical 
We didn't know where the suspect was, so that was a concern. We were getting tips all day of, hey, I think we see this guy, you know, I think he's over here. So he was eventually found um, in a rental unit. This was between him and his girlfriend, and why he did that to Denise, I don't know. Domestic violence calls um, are considered one of the most dangerous that we deal with. Domestic violence is so unpredictable just because people are so emotional and in the heat of the moment, or I guess heat of passion. They feel like they're losing so much at that time that they don't really care. They'll do whatever they feel they have to do in that moment, regardless of whether you wear the badge or not. She's tough, she's strong, uh, very resilient. To be shot with a 45 caliber bullet, um, to survive that, to come back from that, um, that speaks for itself. I still love this job, so, you know, I would love to be back in a patrol car and back in uniform. Um, the only thing right now is just, you know, waiting for my injuries to heal, but otherwise, um, I would be back tomorrow if I could. Officer Bruce Jones, working patrol is one of the toughest jobs on this department. Thank you for being willing to put it on the line every day to keep our community safe.